All right, guys, welcome to another video. I know it's been a minute since I put them out, and um, I appreciate your patience on that. Uh, a lot of you guys know I've had uh, a tragedy in the family. My nephew passed away, and uh, it's been taking me a minute to kind of get over that. And um, I think I think a lot of people go through it. Uh, I just quite honestly didn't feel like making content, um, especially in a long form. I just, I don't know, but uh, Anyways, I needed a minute. I'm back, so we're gonna make some content today. We are on our way over to Ontario. As you can tell, it's uh, it's sunset right now, so we had a late check-in. I love PM, so I uh, got to do a bunch of stuff this morning, uh, hang out with family, go do some stuff, and now we are at the airport. We're gonna do three legs today. We're gonna go over to Ontario, then from there we're gonna go up to uh, Oakland, and from Oakland, we're gonna to go to Portland. So that's our day today. We'll have a, a short overnight in Portland, only about 12 hours. But um, it's my kind of trip. It's a two day trip. Get in, get some work done, and then get home. So there we go. Let's get at it. See you in the cockpit. Alright guys, start of a trip. Fortunately, we got a swap airplane. So this airplane had a mechanical on it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll up to our next airplane. We're not sure which one that is yet. So we're gonna go uh, upstairs and just be ready. Hopefully it's in the same concourse. If it's not, then we gotta go to another concourse. Move everybody over there, move our bags over there. So fortunately we're gonna be delayed starting off on this trip. But hey, it's the airline, so we gotta we gotta roll with the punches. Uh, Sharp FO found something uh, in the engine. We had it. Mechanics came out. Sharp mechanics took a look at it and was like, "Yeah, let's uh, we're gonna take this out of service." So better safe than sorry. We're gonna grab another airplane, pre-flight the thing, and get on the road to Ontario. I said we were going to Oakland afterwards. This is what happens when I don't look at my trip fully. We're actually going to San Jose as the second link. So. It is going to be a little bit later, uh, just because we're starting off a little bit later, but it's only 53 minutes to Ontario, so maybe we'll make up a little bit of time. All right, heading to another airplane. Bam. It may look like I'm in the same cockpit, but I am not. <laughs> we are, uh, we're in a different airplane. We are just getting it ready to go right now. So we are a little bit behind, but uh, good news is it's only 53 minutes uh, up the road over to Ontario and the weather's nice there. So we're gonna try to get to it. I'll show you guys the clearance here in just a minute and then we'll get on the road and see if we can whittle down this. I think we're about an hour and 10 minutes behind right now. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna go to Ontario, next leg up to San Jose and then from there, we change planes again, believe it or not. And then we'll go to uh, Portland. Here we go. Flight time was uh, 50 minutes, block hour and 10 minutes. Here's the route of what it looked like. Uh, pretty much took off, headed to the east, made that hook, and then uh, all the way over to Ontario. We did the ILS in here. Got that taxiway uh, Foxtrot, and all the way back up, back up and into gate 407. So, see the people getting off. It's one of the gates where you can see uh, people walking off, which I don't know, kind of cool. But, anyways. It is almost Christmas, so there's the Christmas tree. And uh, we're gonna just keep this train going and try to catch up on time. So our next leg is gonna be up to uh, San Jose here in a second. Anyways, here's our route of flight. It's right up the coast. Pretty easy leg. Into, uh, out of Ontario out here. Here's that sunshine, so just go ahead straight. There's a crossing restriction at Pomona. Do that at about 8,000 feet. Then on the way up to Flores, where we will pick up the arrival in the San Jose. That's going to be the Silicon. So, again, real, real easy arrival. It takes us right onto the RNAV or the ILS down there. Kind of mix it up, depending on what I like that night. I'll probably just do the RNAV. You just watch the uh, watch this magic happen. But anyways, that's it. That is the leg. Fifty-four minutes down the road. 
All right, we'll see you in San Jose. San Jose, gate number 26. Took us 50 minutes to get down the road. Go open the gate here uh, real soon. But let me show you guys what we did. A uh, real quick one. Just like we said before, just right up the coast, uh, ended up doing the Silicon Arrival. I like this arrival because it takes us right up to Clyde and then right in, so it's a pretty quick approach. It was coming in super fast, so I had to drop some gear a little bit early <laughs> just to kind of slow down, but... Got down, landed, exit here on uh, Kilo, and then into gate number 26. So, we have to leave this airplane. Uh, and then go run to our next airplane. We are running late, so we're gonna grab all our stuff and go. So we'll see you at the next airplane. This is the next leg, the last leg. <coughs> uh, straight up the coast. Looks, uh, it's pretty nice. So, let's see the weather. Let's check out the weather here. So the ride should be pretty decent on the way up. Uh, not too bad. And Portland, it's cold. Yeah, well, cold for me, right? 53 degrees right now, and it is got a little bit of light rain, overcast 6,500. Here's our clearance. Can you see it? Try to get it in. Spartans 1 then is filed. We'll climb up to, uh, climb to the city, maintain 5,000 feet. And our squawk is 3346. Go ahead and accept that. Throw that in here, three. And again, uh, let's see, hour and 21 minutes. It's our flight time, so. There you go, that's what we got. One more leg and then we'll be done for the night. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff done. And we're going, because we are running a little bit late, we're gonna uh, try to blast on in, out of here as fast as possible. So, we will see you in Portland. Portland, gate number Echo 9. Um, Real uneventful flight. Up here, it's obviously raining. So, did the arrival. Uh, went on downwind to the runway. Kind of vectored off. ILS to uh, 10 left. Broke out about a thousand feet. Came out here to Alpha 3, then taxied in uh, Alpha Victor Kilo to Gate Echo 9. Uh, you see right there, it's an hour and 19 minutes of flying time. And we are finally done. So, really uh, you know, kind of eventful day with the maintenance. We put us behind a little bit. We're still, uh, we're still about an hour behind. So, didn't really make up any time, but that's, that's what happens sometimes. So, we're going to get to the hotel. Our uh, overnight has gotten cut short. I'll see you at the hotel in a minute. Welcome to the... Hyatt Place. <laughs> it's uh, one of our short hotel uh, stays here in Portland. Um, we're we're really close to the airport, so uh, and unfortunately because of our delay today, we have a men duty rest or men rest um, before we have to head back out. We had to adjust our van time so we could get our adequate rest just because of the delay getting in from that maintenance issue. But anyways, we're here. It is uh, it's a comfortable place. Just here to get grab some sleep. Again, only uh, only about 10 hours. So uh, I'm still gonna get up and get after it in the gym in the morning. So I'm gonna get uh, in the shower, get to bed, and then uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh man, look at that. The leaves are changing here in Oregon. All right, that was a quick night, but we did get some good sleep. I uh, travel hack, uh, I use earphones. And because I have the whoop, I'm not gonna miss my alarm clock because, it, well, it vibrates on my arm and I wake up. So uh, that's what I use um, while I'm on the road. It makes sure, it ensures that I get a better sleep than uh, you know I normally would because I'm kind of a light sleeper. I hear things and I start to wake up. I don't know if you guys are that way, but I found that to be kind of the best thing for me. But anyways, we're going to go hit it. Uh, it is 8.40. Uh, we're going to be downstairs at 10.20. So that gives us a little bit of time in the gym. I've been doing this thing uh, from Gary Brecka. 
uh, he has this 30 30 30 thing he talks about it in his podcast he's got a good podcast called the human lab I'm starting to get him more into this longevity thing as I get a little bit older just celebrated a birthday I'm almost like the rock says at the fifth level uh, I got one more year for that but I want to stay healthy and I want my vet vitality uh, to stay up there so um, trying this thing out, uh, 30, 30, 30, 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking and then do 30 minutes on the cardio machine, treadmill, whatever, at a low heart rate, um, low being below 135. So kind of a steady state cardio thing. I'm going to give that a shot. I've been doing it for, I don't know, probably about 10 days now, 10, 15 days, maybe. No, it's the 14th. Yeah. Uh, about 14 days. So I started October or uh, November 1st. I started November 1st and I'm, uh, Gonna run through November and see what's up. So I'm gonna grab my protein. We're gonna head downstairs, do some steady state cardio just for 30 minutes, and then uh, I don't know, see what the see what the breakfast options are downstairs. All right. So another travel hack that I got. Um, I use this blender uh, here, the shaker, but it has several different options on there for carrying more protein. Or I use fielded greens for my uh, my greens. Uh, throw these in here and then I'm loaded up with some more protein here. So I've got protein, more protein, uh, field of greens because it was a two day. So I'll take this protein right now, take my field of greens uh, after and uh, protein later on in the day. So I got, you know, one full day with this and then you can stack the rest of them in your food bag. And, uh, you know, obviously getting water uh, intake every day is huge. So got this big you know, natural Hawaii deal, it's like 64 ounces of water. I try to go through this a day. I am not great at it, especially when I fly, but uh, that's kind of my setup for the hotel stuff. So, travel hack. Mm. Okay, another travel hack. Uh, don't leave your protein in the, in the shaker very long because of humidity and all that stuff. It gets clumps, and uh, I left it uh, probably for a week in my bag because I haven't flown in a week. It's uh, it's chewy. <laughs> I know. Hey, if you know, you know. All right, one more quick thing. Um, I know I talk about this a lot, uh, just because I think fitness is super important, and you know, for everybody out there, I mean, I know there's people out there that don't work out. My advice to you guys would just. You don't have to be a crossfitter. You don't have to be a jiu-jitsu guy. You don't have to do all these crazy things. Uh, I don't think they're crazy, but you don't have to start that way is what I'm saying. Um, you can get into a fitness routine just by going outside and walking. Um, just take a walk right down the road, 30 minutes, uh, go 15 minutes out, 15 minutes back, but just start somewhere. There is, um, I don't think I have to explain it a lot, but uh, there is a lot of issues health-wise uh, in our society right now, just due to the diet, the lack of exercise. So I want you guys to have a really good career flying airplanes, whether that's professionally or just doing it on the side um, and having a good time doing it or doing it for your business. But anyways, I, I preach fitness a lot because I absolutely believe in it. And you don't have to go crazy to start. If you just want to go outside and take advantage of some of this beauty that our country has to offer. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I'd love to go outside. There's a walking trail right there. So again, you don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to, you know, do all this crazy stuff. Just start off by walking every day. Get 30 minutes in, you'll feel a lot better. Trust me, you will. And uh, you never know, it'll probably springboard your uh, fitness routine. You'll be uh, leaving messages down below that you're competing or whatever. But uh, anyways, my point is just start. And uh, I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot better. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and uh, we're gonna get ready. I still have to iron my shirt. I haven't done that yet. Uh, because we got in at two o'clock in the morning, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to spend any more time awake than I needed to. So uh, we got 50 minutes to be downstairs. Actually, no, we've got 40 minutes to be downstairs. Uh, I'm gonna hustle. All right, we are here at Echo Temp. Getting down to uh, Oakland. This is our route. Uh, just basically straight down. The weather looks really good at uh, both ends. Uh, our departure out of here. Oops, out of Portland. Uh, basically heading out to the east, make this big dog leg on the way down. There is an emergency out, or engine out special, so if we lose a motor before we get to river, we're gonna turn back around, head back in on the downwind, probably land on, uh, on uh, 10 right. 
there's our text there. But other than that, we're going to head down to Oakland. Let's see right now. There's our predictive uh, turbulence plots. They don't look very good. Or actually, they look good. They don't look bad, is what I meant to say. But uh, down to Oakland. We're Oakland right now. The weather. Really nice. 60 degrees down there. It's pretty much clear and uh, visibility is good. So, good day. It'll take us an uh, hour and 29 minutes. That's our clearance down there. 85 to Hiskey. Nice block of 3520. And up to 41,000 feet today. So. That's it, we got to the airplane uh, a little bit behind just because of our crew duty day yesterday. It kind of forced us into a little bit of a compression on this one. But we're gonna get down there. We should actually be a little bit early uh, if we get out of here. Uh, we'll probably get out of here a little bit early, five early. But uh, full boat going down to Oakland. We'll see you there. We are here, gate number 25, right in the corner pocket. Um, just basically straight down the coast. Really, is really nice. Coming in, we just did uh, basically a downwind and then uh, did the RNAV arrival. Actually got got the actual arrive or uh, approach from Alex. Did the hook all the way into runway 30 land, got off Whiskey 5. We got, uh, usually we go Whiskey, Victor, Tango to the gate. Uh, today we just went Whiskey to Uniform because we're running a whole lot of traffic. And to gate 25, so there you go. We're gonna wash, rinse, repeat and head back to, uh, or head over to uh, Salt Lake City. So, I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, we're on our way to uh, Salt Lake City. And here's the uh, route, basically Oakland over to Salt Lake City. There's a little bit of turbulence, uh, predictive turbulence over the mountains uh, as we cross over and head into Salt Lake City. Here's our clearance via the Oakland 5. There's a 4DME crossing restriction. If we look on here, On this, this is a runway 30 when you cross 4 DME between 14 and 2,000 feet. So we do have that set up. Uh, we're climbing via the SID, except maintain 190. Five minutes prior to push, we got a uh, push of, or wheels up of uh, top of the hour. So we got 15 minutes for that. So we're pretty much all set up. I got my food for the trip. Check that out. A little bit of chicken and rice. Oh, and by the way, I got a croissant too. So, uh, I don't know what the croissant's for. I just got it because I was hungry. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that is uh, it. The weather over there is pretty good. 63 degrees. Oh, that bing bong means it's time to go. So we'll see you in Salt Lake City. Beautiful day here in Salt Lake City. Bravo 20. We had a really uh, strong tailwind, about 80 knots the whole time. So we got here pretty early. We're supposed to be here till uh, 22, actually that's 23.40. We're here at 23.22. Real nice, uh, here's the arrival. Just basically went up north for the uh, visual, backed up by the ILS to 16 right. Landed, got off on. Alpha 5, we just straight in to uh, Bravo 20. So, real quick one. All right, leg two down. Two more to go. So, we're going to go to LA. We actually have to change planes there, grab another airplane, and we'll take that one uh, into Phoenix for the last leg. So, here we go. Okay, we're off to LA. That yeah, rhymes. Anyways, here's the uh, route on the way over to Los Angeles. Focus, focus. <laughs> Basically, it's, uh, it's a boomerang down there. Los Angeles right now. Waiting. Nice day, 66 degrees, clear skies. We got light winds. Should be nice out there. Uh, gonna take us an hour and 33 minutes. We have tons of gas. No alternates. Should be a nice ride over there. Um, there's a little bit of turbulence, but that's at high altitude. But uh, other than that, it should be fine. Let's, uh, we're gonna get out down there. Hour and 33 minutes. We gotta swap planes, like I said, uh, when we do get down there. And then uh, we got one more leg back to Phoenix. Um, so far, it's supposed to be a max, so that's gonna be kind of nice. Although it won't be my leg, but it'll be nice and quiet. LAX, here we are. 11 Alpha. I don't know if you can see that up there, but 11 Alpha is our gate. Let's see how we did. 
an hour and 35 minutes. Uh, flight plan said one hour and 33 minutes. Two minutes behind. That's okay. We had to slow down on the arrival uh, in to Los Angeles. The arrival uh, was the Angel arrival. So picked it up at a Hackman and uh, pretty much got slowed down uh, 250 knots. It's a long lineup on the way over here. Uh, two four left. So we did touchdown, and we got off at uh, Echo 13. Echo to Gate 11 Alpha. So now we're gonna go run over to Gate 16, pick up another airplane, take that in for one more leg back to Phoenix, and then we're done. So we'll see you over at the other airplane. We are now uh, in the Max, as you guys can see. Love the Max. One of my favorite airplanes to fly. Here's our clearance. Third via the DOTS 2 scenery that has filed. Climb via except maintain 5,000 feet. And uh, we're just going up to 33,000 feet tonight. We've got a squat. Here's the route. It's basically take off. We'll uh, make the turn to the east and we'll head east until we hit uh, Phoenix. So. The departure is this. It, we're doing the dots to departure. So we're not have nav departure, so basically hook around and then end up at scenery at the bottom part there. Really quick uh, midpoint, just from scenery to Blythe, and then we pick up the arrival into Phoenix, which is going to be the Hider. So pick it up in Blythe, on into Phoenix. We're lucky right now. Typically Phoenix is west flow this late at night, but they're east flow, so We'll just basically head on in uh, unless they change the, the runway. Uh, 53 minutes our route today. And we just about have everybody on board here at gate number 16. Again, it's the last Welcome. leg, best leg. Then we're, we're home and I've got some okay, time great. off. So, so anyways, one more leg. I'll see you in Phoenix. We are uh, here in Phoenix. We got Charlie 19. I tend to get that gate a lot, but. Uh, Worked out pretty good. 56 minutes our flying time. And uh, we set 53, so it was a little bit uh, longer. And that is because uh, we essentially got slowed down all the way back um, on our arrival. So uh, before we even got to Skull, uh, we got slowed down to 250 knots. So they let us speed up a little bit more here, but that was, uh, that was kind of the deal. Ended up doing the visual to uh, we were on the ILS to seven right, and then they swapped us to the visual to seven left. Did that, got over to gate Charlie 19. Then done for the night. So, gonna clean up here. I'll be with you guys. Uh, we'll shut down the airplane together, okay? Um, so, we're gonna get everybody off. Then I gotta do my walkthrough, and then uh, we'll shut it down. So, I'll be with you in a second. It is the time to run the terminating checklist. We're gonna do it together. First thing's gonna be stab trim in the green band. It is in the green band. IRS is off. The IRSs are now off. Emergency exit lights off. Here's the emergency exit lights. We're off. External lights. We're gonna go off with all the external lights. Those are off. Those are off. Ground power off. We're gonna go uh, a couple of checklists. APU is already off and the battery off. So ground power and the battery. So it's gonna get dark. Ground power is coming off. And the battery is off. We say one blue light and the checklist is complete. We'll put this back up here. The airplane is cold. As you can see back there. I'm gonna push this ground service button. The lights will come back on because it's on the ground service bus. So that's it. The end of a two day. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Taking you guys on the full two day. Uh, very short overnight in Portland, but it's, it's really good. Again, I appreciate your guys' patience uh, with the videos. I know it's been it's been a little bit tough trying to get back into it and uh, get the motivation to do it. Not from anything to do with you guys, but you know, just life happens. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, go on to Fly With Big Earn, get yourself some merch, and we will see you on another video. I'll try to crank these up. I do have to take the Cirrus back to Deer Valley. 
So maybe we'll do another video on that. Uh, for now, I am gonna run home because uh, I'm uh, anxious to get home. All right, guys, have a great week, month, day, year, and we'll see you on another video.